Here we are again. We find ourselves at the finest of the TK Maxes, ready to prove the point. Can the luxury pickers shop the sale in TK Maxx? No, there's no point. Can you even made. say that? Can you even say that? I don't think you. Oh, hello. Hello. Ooh. There's absolutely no point to be made. I wanted to show you, and I've been talking to a few people recently about TK Maxx. Now look. The TK Maxx um, yellow label sale. Please note, it does not happen straight after Christmas. After Christmas, Boxing Day or classic Boxing Day sales, do you know what happens? They're terrible. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing well, happens. Well, obviously, they close Christmas Day. Just think about retail for a second, right? They close Christmas Day. Christmas Eve, once the, the store has been totally trashed, that which is obviously the day before Christmas, on last yeah. minute buys, they, they literally, the, the last people will leave like, seconds after they were supposed to close so they have they don't they don't prep they don't make things look pretty they don't do anything behind the scenes they go home and have a christmas eve and everyone else what happens then fresh on boxing day morning they all stroll in and their story is as it was christmas eve nothing's changed no. nothing's discounted so when they're coming on boxing day nothing has changed it's later on in the month or usually days later can be a month later that still actually starts although we did have to prove it to ourselves as well as the general public um that Nothing does happen. We have been informed of a mega TK Maxx, which we are going to save for the yellow ticket sale. Um, so watch out for this one. But we are going to highlight a few things that we did see. So first up is this Trinity and Parker. Cashmere uh, Wool Blend. Cashmere Wool Blend Knit. Um, they do do really well on eBay, especially newer tags. Do do. Um, I will, I've added a comp. You probably have seen it. Um, so they are worth picking up um, at the reduced price. And they're also these Haley. uh I, got, well, I always say Mendez, but is it Mendez or... Menzies? Yeah, Menzies. Menzies. Um, her knits do really well. What you're really looking for is the long wraparound graphic print cardigans. I say graphic print, they're knitted like with animals and stuff. Yep. Um, this one's 93, which may seem like a lot of money. But when I was looking at comps, like the general comps for newer tags was 175 plus. What, even for like a crop knit like yeah. that? So if you're looking at the long ones with the wraparound, you're looking at about 300. Okay. Um, next up is this uh, Lee Matthews jacket. For any Anyone who's been following us for a while, you'll know that we sold a found a Lee Matthews dress at a boot sale for four pounds and sold it for 150 used. That was in the summer, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, yeah, this summer. This is obviously a jacket, and you were tagged. He's not famously known for jackets. He's very much known for dresses. However, comps on this are also very good, and you're looking at about 150 for a sort of a cotton jacket of that kind of nature. 100. percent It would be slightly slowing of a seller compared to a dress because, as like you say, you know, yes. dresses. That's not to say it won't sell. He he also sells a Nessa Porter, etc. So it's a very popular brand. This was £29. So that is a very good return Bargain. on your money. Um, I found these in the pyjama sections. Always check the pyjama sections. These are, I think they're called Dempson and something, something, something. I'll put the brand up here. Um, these were set, uh, £70. Yep. £70 for a set. They are known for... They There's are a long sleeve top and some shorts. Yes, they are known for pyjamas. Yep. Um, and this is also quite a good buy. You would easily double up. See, that, that's really interesting because, once again, like maybe pyjamas, because, once again, you're used to kind of just the resale value. Yes. Pyjamas are interesting that people wouldn't necessarily pick those up, but they do sell. Yes, 100%, especially sets that are new with tags. Uh, these are some Neil Barrett jeans, uh, reduced down to 86, which is a strong price. eBay comps and new with tags are sitting at about 100. However, I recommend that you listed them on Vestiaire, where there is a more of a market for um, higher end, um, not niche brands, but not your normal, like your general Versace, etc., etc., etc. Speaking of which... Speaking of which, here are some Versace jeans. Um, these are actually quite nice. They're sixty pounds. They're not reduced or anything like that. Um, they were actually seconds, though. They were seconds. There was a lot of Versace seconds. Seconds does mean that it will have a fault of some kind. Yep. This is sorry. This is a CP company. Um, I love this kind of like nylony kind of shell. Um, jacket Stone Island and CP Company are both well known for them it's quite fashionable at the moment mm -hmm. um, but once again good colour uh, it was a good price um, I didn't put comps in because I couldn't find the exact one and because CP Company is so niche yeah. as in terms of its customer base has it has a following and people look for certain things from the brand once again this this particular particular TK Maxx has some Stone Island and some uh, CP Company quite regularly they usually one off piece and they usually seconds that was a second for example yes. um, but there's they're sitting at about newer tags with, with the goggle or the lens arm. They're sitting at about 200 
50 yep depending obviously the finish um, what kind uh, of one it is style. Uh, yeah yeah 100 percent. i was trying to see if this mcq um it was it was originally uh 400 and something or 600 and something down to 300 um I, I think we show the label anyway so excuse me if i'm telling fibs either way i wanted to see for that money if it was down and it wasn't it was polyester filled and i thought that was terrible well no i was actually g- going to talk about mcq at the moment so for a, a long time e- eg the last like three months um they've been having a made for outlet mcq constant stock there but same the, here look. the stuff no but the stuff that's in there at the moment isn't made for outlet it's off price no. and that's why the prices are so much more expensive than the made for outlet you were seeing in the summer so that's what i was going to say so this stuff yes as you just said this stuff was um this wasn't made for outlet the made for outlet stuff which they've had for a long time is a lot cheaper as you yes. just said yeah exactly so but Sorry. it's confusing for the consumer that's what i'm saying well they do that on purpose we've been through that before that's why anyway these were a lot of football shirts once again nothing about football shirts however these were all like four five um three four and five xls so i just thought it was interesting that, that they were i think they were like 25 30 pounds each um once again don't know what season they're from don't know how new they are but i just thought it was interesting that they were really large stock yeah physically okay. large and also if any all the footballer people <laughs> the people that know footballing <laughs> shirts can just tell you like that that might be a good buy it might be worth picking them all up they might not been... for us but for you well, and once again i don't know if for example like i've said before with the ralph stuff with big and tall always sells uh, in comparison to like a regular large is that yeah. the case anyway coming on to cool stuff this is a lego adidas collab which we thought was really cool um these are kids though these are kids shoes yes because they've got the elastic but they were in the size four lady section so they obviously be misplaced i left her in because that's how cute she is yeah and also she loves those shoes uh these are prosenza i always say it wrong prosenza look at the heel though. yeah that's, the heel. that's amazing um i would see when it comes to things like these these are 250 pounds uh, retail is obviously um a lot more you're looking at 500 to 600 retail um when you're looking at shoes like this these can't be sold as new without tags because look if you see from these nicholas kirkwoods as well they've got they got a uh, floor wear um, a lot, a lot so these the, would be used uh, yeah i was just going to say a lot of these shoes were like you amazing point you just made but um the reason a lot of these shoes will be sold there they haven't ever been they've not been bought and returned they would be display models and that's yeah. why you'll see them and that's why the majority of the kind of real high-end shoes are like that occasionally they are seconds or they are returns but um most of the time yeah there'll be display models and a company will just buy all the display models out of like say harrow's for example exactly um these are dolce uh cabana. dolce and cabana boots 194 which is actually quite it's a good steal. price for they were those. like eight nine hundred pounds retail um once again though you would have to sell used um these are tory birch um they do have some leather wear if you ever see leather wear like this where just the natural leather looks a bit marked just a leather gel will bring that up very nicely um, any marks would disappear pretty quickly yeah you know about these trainers i don't know these are cool about. these are vism um well just in general they're a high high high-end sneaker company um, they do kind of clothing and stuff as well um, they generally have vibram soles they can go for anything from like two or three hundred um pounds right through to about to be honest uh, 1.5 thousand um it just depends on the shoe those particular shoes I think are about six, seven hundred pounds originally retail, and they were uh, one, show me one forty. I think no yeah. two ninety. Two ninety. So still quite an expensive shoe, but once again retail. Like the quality of these shoes, honestly. Um, uh, I guess, like you even could... even even what well, I'd say even in luxury, like uh, people like you know luxury companies who make trainers and shoes, there is like no. Um, there's no comparison they're amazing golden goose golden goose make the worn out trainers as everyone likes to say like with the gaffer tape and stuff on them um but these are the cowboy boots they make cowboy boots and heeled boots like that look like cowboy boots they make everything uh these are 200 pounds and no reduction um I'll put retail up and see where, where they're sitting because I uh, haven't had a sold a pair in a long time. Um, but the coarse glitter would have been a premium finish. That's always but more appealing. As opposed once, to like a regular leather, yeah? Yeah, once again, though, they would be they would be sold as a used shoe. This is a small person trying to make me buy a Moschino purse for her. That's so cute. Um, I found this belt, interestingly enough. La- Lavigne, uh, £97, missing... Two major stones. <laughs> that is honestly that's I like this is my point this is my point about when people say oh, well, why isn't TK Maxx with those reductions that honestly just be thrown uh, to tell me maybe check to a charity shop yeah um, or, or th- like just get rid of it 
Yeah, it, was... it definitely has no business being pr- uh, priced up as £100. Pounds. No, That's be, my point. It shouldn't be £97. Pounds. Um, I also found next to this, which I also found very bizarre, it was just a chain. It's a chain from a bag. There's no attachments, though. There's no attachments. And how much was it, out of curiosity? It was only £7, pounds and it was heavyweight, but there's no attachments. So what'd you do with it? I feel like that reminds me of the chain, the kind of Kirk Geiger. Kirk Geiger, uh, Kirk, yeah. Yeah, yeah, those kind of... Um, but what'd you do with it? Boy bag They just chain. put a chain on no the No idea. Sale. Like, uh, once again, it, it, it wasn't, didn't have clips or anything. Anyway, we move on to another TK Maxx in the same day. The first one was Bath. This is now, how do you say it? Trow or Trowbridge? Tr- I say Trowbridge. Austin says Trowbridge. There's a place, there's a, there's a place near Remini and Cardiff called Trowbridge. Or, uh, it probably might be called Trowbridge, and I've always said Trowbridge. Anyway, on to other things. This was stunning. Like I can't, I can't tell you. Bag from Paco Rabanne, one hundred and fourteen pounds originally, around nine hundred. Nine hundred. Uh, with box and dust bag, just on the bottom for clearance shelf. Just you know. <laughs> Just sat there. Just sat there. Austin went to fetch me. Um, And I also spied on our way upstairs. On the bottom shelf, there are some box Pradas. So they're in the patent pink leather. Lovely to see a box because most of the time they get thrown away. However, you can see from the sole of that shoe that it has had floor wear. So they would have to be sold as used. And they're not even as new anymore because they're not um however if you look on the side of the box there's a piece of cardboard which tells you what the shoe is what austin just flipped in yeah they were 145 pounds yeah. which is a great deal probably resell for 250 with box at, at least with box like, even yeah, used technically never worn but used they, you know what i mean they haven't been they haven't been in the street yeah you can tell they've not touched a, a road yeah um these are dries van norton um Norton. um newton 379 pounds i actually did some research on these shoes because i used everyone knows me i'm a Dries fan and uh, they are 2016 mm. runway um they didn't come with their box obviously or dust bags etc etc and so on and so forth um resell use the plain ones because they did a number from the collection in different yeah. fairy colors uh are going for 160 so i would have expected about 250 once again but they're up for 400 so there's just there's nothing in them at all but nice the, to see that's a purchase for you uh, alone to buy do you see yeah. what i'm saying lovely to see and great once again we do these videos as well not just for obviously the deals you can find in tk Max, but also for brand knowledge um and yeah, picking up new brands that you might not find in the charity shop every day 100 percent. just previously um I, want, I wanted to mention there was a ralph hat i just picked up there um uh, any n- well not any but anything which is made in the last kind of five to nah, maybe probably about five, the last five years which has um a multicolored pony on a ralph cap um it, it's a slightly different fit to the original uh, ralph caps they're slightly deeper i find they're slightly um they're made slightly um with less quality they're not they're not the same kind of cotton and they're they're thinner so just a side note the people who are buying them um, they are a different a different kind of thing. Tell us about the lamp quickly. Tell us about the lamp. So 2020, 2022, uh, 08, which means obviously it was made in August of 2022. There's no way in the world this has been in a full price store and then brought to the UK because Ralph Lauren doesn't have home um, in this country anymore. I think there might be one store in one of the boutiques in London, but it doesn't have a standalone home store. Based on that fact, that lamp has never been in a full price store ever which means it's made for outlet there you go that's also why it doesn't have a, a top price it just has a, a lower bottom price at our price i found this neom i say neom neom however you, uh, you say it. it's the ne- diffuser neom. is half retail missing the inner um what's the thing the plug yeah missing the plug or, the charger uh, the adapter charger yeah 50 pounds half of retail um but it's missing quite key components there. Interesting, this Joseph Joseph, like the regular kind of chopping boards, the kind of multi chopping board thing. We sold one of these recently without used, used without box for twenty five thirty pounds. Yeah, and that was twenty four. So that's actually probably a good price. You're probably going to put a tenner on top of that quite easily. What an artsy shot! I left this in because there's no outro, so I thought let's just have a elevator moment. Elevator moment. Did you like it? Elevator moment? No elevator music. No elevator music. We'll be back tomorrow once again. We're uploading videos all the way up until New Year and beyond. So we'll be back tomorrow. Um, Whether you like it or you don't. Yeah. That. Bye.